let's be honest. Sometimes our emotions get the better of us when we ride. Hi, I'm Kelly from Summit Riding Academy, and today I'm going to talk to you about controlling your emotions when you're trying to ride your horse. So we have to think of our emotions as less of something that overtakes us and more of something that is just kind of an indicator of what's going on. So say for instance, I am super frustrated because my horse won't listen to me and my horse will not understand what I'm trying to tell it. And I'm just so mad and frustrated. So you have to get to the bottom of what's causing that. So usually if you're mad, it's because some standard of yours has been broken. So you're really upset and really mad and probably frustrated more about the fact that your standard is not being met other than, you know, what's actually happening. So you have to just step back, think about what's going on. Why, why am I frustrated? What is this real emotion? So if say you're, you know, you're mad, what's really going on? What am I really feeling here? So think about the real emotion that's behind it. So I'm angry. And why am I angry? So that's the first thing you should just stop, recognize the emotion you're having, and then say, why am I angry? Because angry and frustrated are kind of just different levels of the same thing. So why am I, why am I having this emotion? Well, I thought that we, we knew how to do this. I thought that we knew how to do shoulder ends and we are not doing shoulder ends today. We are absolutely not even listening to me. We are just completely, just crazy today. Like we are not bending. We are not listening. We are not at all doing anything. So I'm mad. I'm frustrated because my standard that I thought that we knew how to do this is being broken. So you have to stop and think about, you know, these, these are prey animals, prey animals that we are getting on. We're predators. So there's a prey animal that is allowing a predator to get on it. And then we're trying to communicate through basically hand signals and like touches. That's all, that's all we're able to communicate with. So that's pretty impressive that we can ever do that at all. So don't get mad about the fact that maybe translation is not working so much right here. So just take a deep breath, figure out what the problem is, figure out why you're mad, kind of address that. Is that realistic? Is it realistic that we are not doing shoulder in? And why are we not doing shoulder in? Am I, am I riding wrong? Is there some, usually it's something going on with me. So am I doing something wrong? Am I, are my signals off? Am I, am I already mad? So my emotions are telling this horse to be upset. Did I come to the barn in a bad mood? Did that do something? Did I not get in the right state before I went and got on the horse? So if I got on the horse and I was already upset from work, I'm already telling the horse that we're going to have a bad ride just getting on it. So now of course we're having a bad ride because I was mad when I got on the horse. So it's just making me more and more mad. So you have to think about how you got on the horse, what's going on, am I not doing the right signals, or am I transmitting something to the horse that's telling it that this, we, we're supposed to be, you know, I'm really mad at you already, and things are just going to get worse because the horse is worried about how you feel. And then you got to think about, is the horse in pain? Is it hot outside? Is your tack fitting properly? There's a million reasons why your horse could not be listening to you that day one of which may be the horse is being a big jerk and maybe it's just not the best day to try this if you're at a horse show you got to work through it but if you're not at a horse show do something right and get off because you're not going to have a good ride if you keep banging your head against the wall and the horse is getting more and more frustrated and the horse will remember that we had a bad ride so the next time you get on the horse the horse is going to go wow this person and I didn't get along last time. And I bet it's not going to go well this time. So you never ever want to get off the horse when you're in a bad, you're having a bad ride. Don't get off the horse without doing something right. And then quit before something else happens. Okay? So that's my tip of the day. I hope that I can help you further. Visit my website at www.summitridingacademy.com.